Good day all. So today I'm uh, taking a look at a uh, DVD series which is a little different than the usual science fiction I've been doing lately, especially with my uh, Doctor Who series overview. But here we're looking at not only what is one of the greatest, greatest British TV series of all time, but in my opinion one of the greatest TV series of all time, period. Uh, yes, Minister, and later, yes, Prime Minister. And uh, this series, the series has also recently uh, had a revival with uh, the with the new season of Yes Prime Minister, which uh, I don't even know if it's out on DVD yet. I think it is. I I have to check that, but uh, whatever. But anyway, so we'll start with this one. So the the premise of the show, um, it is it's a political satire, uh, starring Paul Eddington and uh, Nigel Hawthorne. Um, so here in uh, Yes, Minister, the uh, first series, uh, which is three seasons long. Uh, so we see Jim Hacker, who has been, uh, who is part of a, a newly elected government. They actually never really identify which party they are, uh, which, you know, I think is, you know, kind of cool. Just kind of, you know, keeps it a little bit ambiguous there. But a, a new government has just come in. And Hacker has become the Minister of Administrative Affairs. And uh, Nigel Hawthorne uh, plays uh, Sir Albert Humphrey, uh, the permanent secretary. And here it's all about government inefficiency and red tape. And even though it's absurd, um, a lot of the stories base, or a lot of the, the episodes were actually based on actual occurrences, just exaggerated a little bit. Um, but just, you know, sh sort of shows the inefficiency of bureaucracy. Also, I guess almost the fear that the public had of this all-powerful civil service, which the idea here is, you know, uh, especially from uh, uh, Applebee's point of view, you know, it's the, it's the civil service that actually controls the government and the elected officials are, you know, nothing more than puppets or figureheads where they can carry out all their various nefarious misdeeds and whatnot and you know rip off the public and waste money and you know have departments of you know hundreds of people that don't do anything or in one particular episode a hospital that doesn't actually have any patients but the argument is it's the best run hospital in the country because it doesn't have any patients or it doesn't have any actual patients but that's kind of the idea right there um and here in the artwork just the uh the papers are those are the some of the actual episode titles uh this particular set came out i believe it was in 2003 so it's not a new set it's been out for a long time but it's still available um in the first one yes prime minister uh we also have a uh, biography on uh, nigel hawthorne who had passed away not long before the set came out uh, also has uh, just a short history of uh, yes minister and how the series came to be um, and you know it's a you know nice looking set you know you got some photographs in there and got the DVDs so they're all split up into uh, well onto four DVDs and the original series ran for 24 episodes altogether um, so they don't actually have them divided specifically by season. Um, it's broken up a little bit, but really it's, it's one continuous show. It's not really that identifiable, the change between seasons. It's just, you know, one ongoing story. Um, and then there had been a Christmas special um, where the Prime Minister falls and just out of a very odd set of circumstances or almost through an absurd set of circumstances we see Jim Hacker become the new Prime Minister so at that point the series changes its name to Yes Prime Minister which uh, went on for a, another two seasons um, so here the same cast but now uh, we're dealing with the inefficiencies of government at the high level at the level of the Prime Minister and Hacker you know, almost comes off as sort of a bumbling fool in all of these and, you know, more interested in, you know, what's right and, you know, remaining elected and, you know, public opinion and could really care less about doing the right thing, which is, you know, what we see here. Uh, and uh, this one um, has a, a biography on uh, the late Paul Addington. Uh, so 
there we go, it's Paul Addington right there. There's Hawthorne down there. Um, so this is a slimmer set. And uh, with the return of the series, there was 16 episodes across the, the two seasons. So there we go. And like I said, in 2012, uh, or actually no, it was 2013, it was just uh, this year, the show came back for what they're calling Series 6. Um, it was actually based off a stage player, at least I think it's six episodes long. The episode three to six is part of the stage play. Uh, the first two are really standalone episodes. Um, opinions on it have been mixed, but I think that is because the first episode of the the uh, return is just awful. It's just, you know, it's, it's not funny. I watched it and I'm like, well, this is kind of pathetic and left it for a few weeks and then you know went back and watched the other ones and it actually the the four parts that's based off the movie it's actually it, it's hilarious and it really brings back to the spirit of the original series um so if you have been watching or if you've seen the first episode of the return of the series and that turned you off i'd say definitely check out the later episodes because there's a drastic improvement from the beginning to the end uh, but anyway so uh, that was just me rambling on about another set so as always everyone Thank you for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day.